Commentary on the Text In each of the three temptations, Jesus was challenged to use the enormous power and agency he had for purposes outside of God's will. Similarly, when we are inclined to act against the purposes of God and creation, we may be tempted in three distinct ways. 1. Individualism. Jesus was tempted to use his power to meet his own narrowly defined physical needs and comfort by making bread out of stones. When satisfying our personal needs or thinking only about ourselves becomes the defining criterion for making economic choices and other decisions, we ignore human connectedness and interdependency at our peril. Irresponsibility. G Jesus was tempted to test God by acting irresponsibly. Being dependent on God for life and well-being should not be an excuse for taking unnecessary risks. The promise that God will provide what we need should not be the occasion for imprudent action. Being faithful household managers of God's creation requires careful stewardship of resources and creative investing in one another. Number 2. Idolatry Jesus was tempted to disregard God and worship Satan in order to increase his power and wealth. It is easy to be seduced into believing that more is always better and that the accumulation of wealth will keep us safe. Money becomes its own idol when we expect that it is the answer to every human need and longing. Number 3. Human life is limited, finite, and interdependent. We risk alienation from God and from one another whenever we disregard the reality of human interdependence or think that everything is possible. The fear of scarcity or that we will not have enough often prompts us to act in ways that alienate us from one another and so separate us from God. In one sense, our greatest sin is our unwillingness to acknowledge our interdependence and live with the limits of being human rather than a desire to be like God. There is an African proverb that describes human interdependence simply. I am well if you are well.